Bo Ryan now passes Bog Allen on the all-time wins list. Patrick Herb here at the Kohl Center, joined by the new interim head coach of the Wisconsin basketball program on the night where Bo Ryan announced his retirement from the program. Coach, we learned tonight that there has been a plan in place for at least six months for Coach Ryan to retire. Now that the announcement has officially been made, how are you feeling about this? How's the program feeling right now? Well, I think the first thing is you're extremely thankful and grateful for Coach Ryan and, and what he's given, not only the game of basketball, um, but what he's done for this university and in this state. Um, but he's had a resounding impact across the country and how he's impacted the game in a positive way. And I think you really, this night for the most part, has been about him in terms of uh, just the thankfulness and appreciation for what he's done for obviously the game, uh, the players that have played for him, and then obviously me individually having spent 23 years with him. Uh, seems like It doesn't seem like that long ago when he pulled me into his office as a college student and, and asked me to come on his staff. So it's, it's bittersweet in some regards. I'm sure it would take you days to explain all the things that you've learned from him and what his legacy on your coaching career has been, but can you put it in a couple of sentences on kind of what you feel like you've gotten from him over those 23 years? I think in all likelihood, the best system in terms of how to play the game, in terms of what gives you a chance to be successful year in and year out, and all the things that come with that, with taking care of the basketball, rebounding, uh, being very solid defensively, trying to get high quality shots, all those things philosophically um, apply universally across the country. And there's been so many coaches and staffs that I've talked to over the years that love the way we played, have tried to emulate the way we play, really feel that it's such a true, pure sense of the game. And that's what I think I carry on from that standpoint, just from a basketball standpoint. And obviously, you're always going to put your own twist on it. And I have to coach but to my own personality. There's only one Bo Ryan. He's a Hall of Famer. He's one of the best that's ever coached this game, that's walked this earth. Um, so from that standpoint, just an appreciation for what he's done for me and my family and, and what he's done for all the players. And, and just, like I said, we don't have enough time to get through everything. Um, but I think tonight's just a, a sense of gratefulness for what I've been able to experience with him. Did you have a, a chance to talk with the team tonight after Coach Ryan let them know? I did. Coach Alvarez addressed him first, and then I got a chance to talk to him a little bit. And we just talked about taking another step forward. We have a long ways to go as a team. My message is not going to be a whole lot different than Coach Ryan's in terms of what we need to get better at. You know, the, the tone of the voice may change a little bit, and the voice changes. Um, there's a little younger guy standing up in front of him. But in terms of what we need to do to become a more high-quality basketball team and prepare for what's coming with league play, we've got a long ways to go. Uh, we've taken some steps forward in some regards, but there's also areas that we need to really shore up and become more consistent. And I think the guys were really excited about, you know, they were a little bit in shock at first, I think. It's an emotional night. Like I mentioned before, it's bittersweet that they got a chance to spend time, whether it had been four years or six months, with a Hall of Famer. Uh, they'll look back at the time when they get a chance to really let this soak in over a few days to years and realize what a golden opportunity and a great opportunity they had here playing for him. But then also to take this now and embrace it, uh, accept the change, embrace the change, use it as a challenge, and let's move forward and continue to get better. So you're installing a diamond in one press at practice tomorrow, probably all zone defense from here? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, we're going to shoot off the first pass. And yeah, well, um, like I said, the philosophy is not going to change a whole lot, but uh, we'll, we'll definitely work to get better and hopefully continue to. This is a very prideful pace, as I said in the press conference. Having been, grown up in this state, having watched this program grow, having been a part of helping this program grow over the last 15 years, I understand the pride that goes in the University of Wisconsin and the state of Wisconsin, and nobody takes that more serious than I do, and, and that's what I'm looking forward to, that challenge and really representing this institution um, and this state to the best of our ability. Last question for you. The next time you're on this floor for a game setting, December 23rd against Green Bay, what will be different for you? I won't be able to sit down during the game. I'll walk around a little bit and get to sub in and out, maybe yell at the referees a little bit. Um, don't get to call a timeout on a live ball and adjust on that one. Um, but for me, it's still about, uh, it's, it's a game, you know, and players play the game and it's still about the players. And that's the most important thing that I try to get across tonight. And it will also tomorrow with our players. It's about them and those 17 guys in that locker room. And that's why we do this. And for them to have the best experience possible uh, while they're here at this institution, their window for this is very short you know, um, on their lifespan of what they're doing throughout their lives. So that's important for this, for me to do all I can do to help make their experiences as, as positive as possible. 
Well, the circumstances might be bittersweet, but congratulations on the new title, the new interim head coach of the Wisconsin Badgers, Greg Gard.